Located just 90 minutes north of Toronto, in central Ontario, the region of North Simcoe is ideally situated on the southern tip of beautiful Georgian Bay. North Simcoe is fortunate to have a rich history, which encompasses four founding municipalities, as well as a connection to nature and the outdoors that make the location a great place to live. North Simcoe, sometimes referred to as Heronia, is comprised of four municipalities, with a combined population of over 50,000 people and growing. The town of Midland, the town of Penetanguishene, and the townships of Tay and Tiny each bring their own unique qualities to the region. To ensure goods are shipped and received expeditiously to and from other markets, the area is served by Highway 400, Highway 12, and Highway 93, as well as the Heronia Airport. The EDCNS endeavors to enhance the economic and lifestyle well-being of North Simcoe residents by promoting progressive business practices while supporting environmental responsibility and sustainability. How? By bringing together corporate, government and community stakeholders in projects and initiatives that promote economic growth, increase investment and attract business to North Simcoe. The EDCNS focuses on four key pillars of industry, advanced manufacturing, agribusiness, healthcare, and tourism. The opportunities and regional focus in these four pillars will reinforce provincial initiatives to drive growth and improve the environment for producing and offering goods and services from North Simcoe. I'm Bart Nagel. We own a, a garlic farm called Bulbs of Fire. I've uh, been doing this is the fourth year in which we're bringing our garlic to market. We grow about uh, 35 varieties of garlic. And uh, the business consists of, you know, like multiple ways of selling our garlic. We do farmers markets, but we also supply uh, Canada, East Coast to West Coast, like gardeners who are interested in different garlic varieties. To be honest with you, I never really planned on being a farmer, uh, let alone I planned on being a garlic farmer. So this is a business grown out of a hobby, basically. I was interested in different garlics. Then we got cust customers here at the farm buying our chicken eggs. All of a sudden, they started asking about our garlic and I did a little bit of research and tried to grow a little bit more. And a little bit more became a lot more. So now we're in our fourth year, we've been doing growth numbers like doubling and tripling. And it's just, I stumbled upon a really cool market that actually was sprouted in a hobby and it's just fun. Tiny and Tay Townships have been agricultural communities since the earliest settlers in the region. And they continue to live and promote the farming culture, even as the farming business evolves towards a greater degree of specialty and catering to healthier lifestyles. Still, there remains much opportunity to enhance the value of the crops and livestock by adding further value through agricultural supplies, services and processing. The life we lead here, um, I know it inspires a lot of people to grow more of their own food, which is, it's important to us because if you live healthier, for us it's just a great way to raise our family, um, a great way to teach my children that, you know, you can live off the land if you want to. I mean, we love living here. Uh, has nothing to do with the business. The business came after, you know. We just stumbled upon the business, but the location is right. My name is Dominic Zita. I'm the President and General Manager of Forte EPS Solutions. 
we make expandable polystyrene for the construction industry and uh, packaging and OEM industry. We focus on the building uh, supply chain stores, uh, distribution networks, um, we deal with contractors, developers, um, and we're looking at the, the film and uh, movie industry right now also, we're diversifying to that. At the present time we're employing about 25 people. We're projecting in the next couple of years to double that. We've uh, spent about two, three million dollars in local uh, community um, suppliers to, uh, to prep our building the way it is right now. So, you know, we, we feel in the future that there's plenty more to come that uh, we're going to be uh, using the resources of the local community. So. Advanced manufacturing is tied to the well-established base of small and medium-sized successful manufacturing facilities spread throughout the region. And despite the dramatic loss of jobs in the aftermath of the global financial crisis, it remains North Stimcoe's largest single employer. Having close proximity of Highway 400 provides the primary transportation corridor for both supplies and finished product. And for more time-sensitive shipments, the Heronia Airport has a 4,000-foot asphalt runway and offers a wide range of support services. My name is Dan Williams, and I'm the owner of Industrial Filter Manufacturing in Panatanguachine, Ontario. And uh, Industrial Filter manufactures liquid filtration products that are used in a variety of industrial applications from automotive to uh, oil and gas, petrochemical, food and beverage, uh, paint and coatings, uh, inks and adhesives. Uh, our current market reach is, uh, includes um, companies in uh, about 30 countries. A third of our uh, sales are to global markets outside of North America. Um, with the remainder being in, in Canada and uh, a little bit in the U.S. The uh, internet has enabled us to gain uh, customers and access markets in other parts of the world. Communication is seamless. Um, the other thing that has enabled us to access these markets is 20 years of investment in uh, research and development and innovation, uh, both product and, and process development. I didn't want to move to a, a larger uh, metropolis to run the business. I wanted to stay in this area because of all the benefits this area has. I think probably going back in, in time, more importantly, the reason that I came to this area, the reason my family came to this area was because of Georgian Bay. My name is Karen McGraw and I'm the President and CEO of Georgian Bay General Hospital. Georgian Bay General Hospital um, is really a composite of two former organizations that uh, came together in 2008, uh, Penetanguishing General Hospital um, as well as St. Andrew's Hospital or Euronia District as it was then called. So it's evolved over time, it evolved from two hospitals to one hospital. Uh, providing general uh, community hospital services, so everything from an emergency room to general medicine to surgery um, to um, some obstetrics and gynecology um, to some palliative care. So that's the kind of service array that we offer people. Um, everything I guess from birth um, to death um, essentially. We have a, an above average number of, of people who are over the age of 55, in fact over the age of 65. What we do know is that as you age you use more health services. Uh, many of our people as well have complex and chronic health conditions, things like diabetes, heart condition. So it's imperative that we have a service that's close to home for folks, that they don't have to um, travel you know, 45 to 50 minutes. Uh, to a hospital that they can get to a hospital quite quickly, they can be seen and then if they do need admission, um, they can have that service right in their own community. Healthcare is a rapidly expanding sector and even more so in North Simcoe given its aging population. In response to these demographic changes, North Simcoe is building on its comprehensive healthcare infrastructure, which includes two significant anchors, namely the Georgian Bay General Hospital and the internationally recognized 
Waypoint Center for Mental Health. I, I think that having a hospital um, in a community is also um, advantageous to other businesses as well. We know that, for example, if another organization is trying to attract workers to an area, one of the things they will ask is, what are the health services like in that, uh, in that community? My name is Eric Conroy. I'm the President and CEO of the Friends of Kewatin, which is a volunteer group here in Port McNichol that run the SS Kewatin. I was also a waiter on this ship when I was 17 and 18 years old and followed its history through my life and became involved in it when I was in the United States for 45 years as a museum. I was made the honorary captain in 1997, a position I still hold. And I was fortunate enough to be the one that got the chance to buy it and bring it back to Canada and reinstall it at Port McNichol where it had spent its working life for over 63 years. The ship is uh, beautifully set up for tours actually. It's in really good condition and everything on it works from the engines to the winches. It has all the carpets, all the furniture, all the dishes and glassware and all the rooms are staged from 1907 to 1965, which are the years that actually was in operation. Well, the Kiwatin has an interesting role to play in tourism in this area. Um, first of all, it's a, it's a major attraction being the last Edwardian steamer left in the world. We have people from all over the world come to see it. Um, it's very similar in many ways to the younger sister Titanic Although people get angry when I call it a sister. It's, uh, they were not sister ships, but they were both built by British shipbuilding and they have a lot of similarities. And a lot of the same equipment on this ship was used uh, also on the, uh, on the Titanic. So what we've been able to do is get together with the other uh, attractions that are here and we formed a, a new organization. Uh, and the area is now known as the heart of Georgian Bay, which in fact it is. And it takes in all the attractions, all the restaurants, everything that goes on in this area. So we now have a brand to be able to market to. The beauty and accessibility of the southeastern shores of Georgian Bay are among the area's most important natural assets to tourism. In addition to Georgian Bay being a water playground for visitors and seasonal residents alike, the region boasts a wealth of cultural assets including some world-class historic sites. The SS Kiwatin is one of two area destinations awarded the Ontario Signature Experiences designation, which promotes and markets must-see travel experiences that appeal to global markets. With this natural recreation asset at our feet and a history of visitors dating back several generations, fostering regional tourism is a clear priority. This is very special area probably one of the most beautiful areas um, in Georgian Bay and, and that's hard to say because there are so many beautiful areas. The area has so much to offer. It's got fabulous beaches, it's got great restaurants, it's got stores, it's got attractions. And it's an easy draw for me to be here and, and I live here now. By focusing on the four pillars and advocating as one voice, the EDCNS envisions that, by 2020, the four North Simcoe municipalities will be a growing, well-balanced, open community linked closely to Georgian Bay that offers a world-class four-season tourism experience, an education-led, innovative manufacturing base, a strong healthcare and life sciences service cluster, and an efficient and growing agriculture and agribusiness economy. For more information about EDCNS and to learn more about what North Simcoe has to offer, please visit our website at www.edcns.ca.